but it doesn't. So, right off spawn, he just goes straight for overshield. He had the closest spawn, he recognized that, made the most of it. Definitely good, but I think this was a mistake. Um, he ends up surviving one shot, but uh, usually, you know, you would die. I mean, you, you can respect the decision, and it worked out in his favor. Um, but I mean, it was a little risky. There are definitely better ways to use that overshield. Yeah, that was kind of an all or nothing decision. Wow, Osman, he uh, gets into some fortunate situations here. I, did, I was not aware that he had the shotgun. So, once again, he's just controlling the shotgun all game long. He's uh, staying in red now. He's now gotten 5 kills with his shotgun, I think. And now he's just waiting, because he knows it should come up uh, 10 seconds after he dropped it. Yeah. Shoots this guy. Oh, that's bad. So he gets uh, pinched right there by two guys. Um, he probably should have killed that guy with the first two shotgun shots, but you know, it doesn't always work out. Once again, he's just over here looking for a shotgun off spawn, and I... He immediately decides to run away because he knows there's only one shot left in that and overshield's coming up, so he can probably pick up a few kills. I mean, he didn't, but it was definitely the right move. He knew the shotgun was a lost cause, and he knew overshield was coming up, so he went straight for overshield. So he checked what the deal with the shotgun was. Now he knows. I mean, I think he really used that life to just get some more information about what's happening to the power weapons, because at that moment in time, he had absolutely none. This is a uh, interesting 1v1, which he ends up winning. I mean, he had the upper ground, which is definitely always advantageous. So props to him for recognizing that. He hasn't gone outside or to rockets even once, I don't believe. He knows the rocket guy is around here, but instead he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for the shotgun. I know it's over here, and uh... So he sees this guy, I mean, he should, he really should win this. He does win this. He almost picked up a double kill. Somehow, he was staying alive, but he, I do, he does get picked off. But it was a good play. Bait, um, his game plan has consisted of grabbing the shotgun and just staying alive. I'm not sure how he knew that the shotgun was coming up again. Maybe he was out of ammo in it. So right now the game has decided to switch the point of view. Let's go back to uh yeah, we can. Up to wait off spawn. Alright, should be back now. Unless he quit out of the match, which is also possible. No, I'm still in here. Let's keep cycling. There we go. So off spawn, he immediately runs for the shotgun again. And uh, it's not up. I mean, he, he really should have known that it's not going to be up that quickly. But, uh... Yeah, then he dies and he misses rockets. So now he has to win this gunfight. He almost hits the ground pound. I, I think he should have hit it. I'm not sure what happened, to be perfectly honest. But right now, Splitter... It's just everything going right for him. He has shotgun, he just grabbed the overshield. I'm not sure if Splitter or UNSC DF wins this, but as you can see, UNSC DF runs straight for the shotgun again, and uh, he does die. 
So let's see, UNSCDF is off spawn again, and uh, let's see if I win this. No, I get a melee. Uh, that was great. So UNSC running in for the shotgun once again, trying to get the skill. He does pick it up. Now I think he believes that the shotgun is out, which I, I, I'm inclined to agree with him on this. It's too bad that the rocky guy ran away, because that could have been an easy kill for him. Uh, knowing that UNSC was most likely just going to stay there and wait for uh, the shotgun to be up. Nice, well done. He waits until he gets a clear shot, because he knows that he can't take uh, two shots to kill him. Spartan had the first shot and shields were already way down before he reacted. So, uh, you have to make sure that uh, he hit a shot. I'm... It's unfortunate that that shot missed, but now he knows that the shotgun's gonna be up as soon as he spawns, and I do believe he's gonna run straight for it again. As we can see, he does. And uh, so far the strategy has been working out really well for him. So he's just gonna keep doing it. Which is uh, definitely what you want to do. If the strategy is working, don't change it. Wait until it stops working. And uh, But make sure you can recognize as soon as it stops working, and then change it. So right now he's just kind of waiting. He's waiting for uh, Overshield to stay up. And he was definitely in a good spot, just waiting uh, bottom tower where the shotgun spawns. He knows that probably quite a few people are dead now, and he just grabs it. Free overshield. So right now he's going back into tower. And uh, he's just chilling here now, looking for some kills. He realizes he's four down, and I think he realizes that people stopped going to tower. So he pushed up, but rockets did just come up, so I, I have to disagree with this play. Even though he does manage to kill the rocket guy, which I don't think he realized. Um, definitely risky plays, but as you can see, this is how you want to play this when you have the shotgun. You just want to be running through the turbine into the fans. This is going to cost him most likely, yep. Yeah. Now he does know that Shoddy and Rockets are both down over there, so most likely, wow, he gets the best spawn in the history of spawns ever. And he burns the shotgun, which is definitely a good move, and now he's going to make his way back to the shotgun after picking up that kill. Once again, a really good play. Really good plays by him. Just uh, burning that as well, because he doesn't want to have Rockets and the shotgun. That's just... It's just gonna make it difficult for him because they're both pretty close range weapons. As you can see, keeping the DMR definitely worked out in his favor because he was able to get some uh, cross map kills. Unfortunately, the barrel was up there and uh, he did end up dying. That was just unfortunate. Didn't realize that there was an explosive barrel right next to him. Definitely should have. He would have definitely lived there had he realized that. So he gets a good kill on Twisted DMR. I, I do believe he grabbed the DMR off spawn. Which is good. And uh, let's see, who's, I think Hikashia is actually winning right now. Yeah, he is. So I burn the overshield, but he does get kills from it. Once again, once the overshield was up, he just goes in, make sure he can get some kills, and uh, basically he's always gotten kills. He's never once tried to get uh, try to get the overshield itself, like burn it. He's always made sure that instead of burning, he'll get the kills. So let's actually see what Hikasha has been doing, because UNSC, uh, basically the entire game. He was just controlling the shotgun. I'm inclined to believe that the entire game, Keisha, how, however you say that, I do apologize if you watch this and I've been saying it wrong. I believe he's just been grabbing rockets the entire time. Uh, either through sheer luck 